This month, we've been going over how to collect all of the royalties that you're owed through your music. We've gone over how to collect your performance royalties and your mechanical royalties, and now in this video, we're going to discuss how to collect your digital performance royalties. My name is Elmar Key, musician, rapper, record producer, and a shame crest follower, and today, I'm going to teach you how to register your music on SoundExchange. Elmar Key Productions. You're owed digital performance royalties whenever your music is played on a non-interactive platform. These non-interactive platforms include Pandora, iHeartRadio, SiriusXM, and other similar services where you can't choose the music on demand the same way you can with Spotify or with Apple Music. The music is just played automatically and you don't really have that much of a choice of what you're listening to. These royalties are not collected by ASCAP or BMI, so you have to register with SoundExchange to collect them. And you're able to join SoundExchange for absolutely no cost to you. Out of all the companies that we've gone over in this series, in my opinion, this one's actually the most difficult to use, but it's still necessary for you to use it and register your music so you can collect all the royalties that you are owed. So now let's switch over to the computer and now I'm going to show you how to register your music on SoundExchange. So the first step to registering your music with SoundExchange is to go to soundexchange.com, make an account, and if you already made an account, log into it. Next, you will go to my catalog, and click submit new. Then you'll go down here and click upload new. And then you need to download this repertoire submission form. So download this and save it somewhere where you would remember where you put it, like your documents folder. And this will be a Microsoft Excel sheet document. So if you have Microsoft Excel, you'll be able to open it up that way. If you're someone like me who doesn't have it on this computer, you'll still be able to access the document. You just have to pull it up in Google Sheets, which is completely free. So I'll show you right now. So just drag the file into Google Drive and then you'll click open with Google Sheets. So once you open this document, you'll have to fill out all of this information, which is kind of why I've said that is more difficult to use in comparison to the other services that we've gone over in this series, but it'll still be worth it. So you have to fill out your payee name, which is most likely your government name, your sound exchange payee ID, the sound recording copyright owner, whichever not on a record label is most likely you. And then you have to fill out your artist name, the recording title, which is the name of your song, your ISRC, which you'll be able to find through your distributor, which is probably DistroKid, CD Baby, or TuneCore. What percentage of the featured artist performance royalty do you claim? Which if you own 100% of the rights to your music, it'll be 100%. If you collaborated with other artists, band members, or producers, you should have a split sheet, which tells you how much each person is owed. So then you'll put that down over here. Are you the sound recording copyright owner of this track? If you own the rights to your track, you'll put down yes or why in this case. If you don't, you'll put N, which means no. If no, are you the authorized collection designee for the master recording of this track? And this information is not required if you do own the copyrights to the song that you're registering. And anything without an asterisk is not required for you to put down, but it's still probably helpful for you to put it down. So you can also put down what recording version of the song this is, like if it's a live version or a remix by another producer, the duration of the song, in this format right here. The genre of your song, whether it's a hip hop track or a rock track or EDM track or whatever genre that you fit in. Your recording date, the country that you recorded your song in, the country it was mastered in, the copyright owner country of nationality, the date of first release in this format right here, the country or countries of first release or publication. And just a reminder of all these don't have asterisks, so these aren't required, but they still may be helpful for you to put down. The P line, the ISWC, the composers, the publishers, the release artist, which is the artist that released the song, the release title, the album release title, which is the name of the single or the album, the release version, which is not required, the UPC, which you'll also be able to find through your distributor, your catalog number, which can also be found through your distributor, the release date of the song, the country of release, and the release label, which is the record label if you're on one or if you release your own songs, it's you. And you'll have to put down all of this information for every single song that you want to register with Sound Exchange. It'll take a little while, it's a bit tedious, but if you want to collect all the royalties that you're you'll have to do this and once you finish filling out all of your information if you're on Google Sheets you'll go to file download as Microsoft Excel and then you'll be able to save this as an Excel document that you'll be able to upload to sound exchange if you're using Microsoft Excel already you can skip this because you'll already have the file you go back to sound exchange go to select file locate your document open it and once you upload it sound exchange will be able to collect your digital performance royalties on your behalf so like I said it's a bit tedious a little bit more tedious in my opinion in comparison to the other services that we discussed throughout the series but if you register each song as you release them it won't be as tedious for me it was a bit tedious because I waited until I distributed a whole bunch of my songs and it took 
quite a while, but it's all good. It was all worth it. So a quick recap of all the videos in this series is that in order to collect all the money that you are owed for distributing your music, you need to be on a distributor and upload your music to every and all platform that's available right now. And DistroKid is the best distributor to use in my opinion. CD Baby and TuneCore are also very popular options. Then you'll want to sign up with a PRO such as ASCAP or BMI to collect your performance royalties. And also you'll want to sign up with SongTrust in order to collect your international royalties, your mechanical royalties, as well as microsyncs from YouTube. And then finally you want to sign up with Sound Exchange in order to collect your digital performance royalties. So now that you've completed the series, make an account on all these websites, register your songs, and create all the royalties that you're owed for your music. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, you can go down in the description below and you can check out the links to my website, my social medias, and all the background music that you've heard throughout this video. Now go down in the comment section below and let me know if you have any questions about how to register with Sound Exchange, if you have any more questions about any of the other services that we've gone over in the series, and just anything in general. My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless.